Alright guys, so moving on, we're going to talk about the basic components of calculations in Tableau. So that means what kind of informations we can add inside the expressions inside the calculations. The first thing that we can add inside the calculation is the comments. Comments are really useful for you and for the others to have some context or small descriptions why you are doing the calculation. So for example, in order to add comments to this code, we can go in the start and we have the forward two slashes. Then we can write anything. Anything after the forward two slashes will not be executed in the calculation. So for example, we can write here calculation to change first name to upper case. So anything I'm writing over here will not be executed and as well will not be checked from Tableau. I really recommend always to add comments. So for you, if you visit this calculation later, you understand why you write this expression. All right, moving on to the second information that we can add inside the calculations that are the fields from the data source. So those are the orange colors. So we have it over here, the first name, but let's just remove everything and start from scratch. So if you want to add a new field inside this calculation field, you can start writing the field name. So as I'm writing now, Tableau can make a list of suggestions. So here Tableau did find three things. The first one is a function. As you can see, there is like a small icon, like an F. This indicates that this is a function or the second information, it says the first name and beside it, there is a data type icon. This data type icon can indicate this is a field name. The third information is as well the first name with the icon. So that means it is a field, but here Tableau writes it. This is from the big data source because those two fields has the same name exactly. So here Tableau show for us that this field comes from different data source. The first one comes from the same data source. That's why Tableau don't have to like say, okay, it is from small data source because it is from the current one, but since the second one comes from different data source, Tableau indicate that this is a different field from different data source. So now since we want the first name from the current data source, we can go and select this one over here. And with that, we have inserted a field inside our calculations. And as you can see, it got the orange color. Another way to add fields inside our calculations, and that is by drag and drop. So let's say that I would like to get as well the last name. So I can go to the last name over here, drag and drop it inside the calculation. And as you can see with that, we got our second field and again it is the orange color and of course the fields that we are add to calculations could be any fields for example let's go and add the sales the sales is a measure so we go to the orders and we have the sales we can just drag and drop to the calculations so as you can see tableau accept as well measures inside the calculations and they're gonna have as well the same color the orange color all right moving on to the next and very important component we have the tableau functions tableau functions are built-in operators that could be used in order to manipulate to transfer for to change the content of one field. So for example, what we can do with the sales, we can go and calculate the total sales inside our data. So in order to do that, we can use the function sum. So before the field sales, we can start with the sum and then we have the open the parentheses and then close it. So as we can see, this component, those functions in Tableau have always the color of light blue. So now what can happen? Tableau gonna go and summarize all the values inside the sales and present it as the result. So let's go and hit OK. We're gonna get an error here because we have changed the calculation. So let's go and remove it and let's get it again in the text. So with that we got the total sum of sales inside our data. So now let's go back to our calculated field and see the next component. We have the logical expressions. We can use the logical expressions in order to check whether a condition is true or false and they have as well the color of black. So for example, let's say that we want to create the calculation where we are checking the sum of sales. If it is higher than 1000, then we want to see the value high at the end. So let me show you how we can do that. We're going to use the if statement. So it's going to start with the keyword if and as you can see, it is black because it is a logical expression. So if the sum of sales is higher than 1000, so we're going to use here the operator higher greater than 1000 then what's gonna happen we're gonna have the value high and then we're gonna go and end the logical expression and we can check over here that the calculation is valid so here we have our logical expressions f then and end don't worry about the syntax we're gonna learn everything in the next tutorials step by step with very simple examples all right so now we're gonna move to the last component that we can add to our calculations we have the parameters parameters are like dynamic fields that we can add to visualizations in order to make everything dynamic in the views or the calculations again there will be a dedicated tutorial for that later but 
now let's see how we can add a parameter field inside the calculation so first we have to create quickly a parameter in order to do that i'm just going to close our calculation over here and then we're going to go to the arrow in the data pane then we can have the create parameter click on that here we're going to get the window in order to configure the parameters we're going to call it choose a number so that's it let's close it and say okay and now on the left side we got a new parameter right click on it and show parameter so with that we got like on the right side an input field where you can add a value for example we have it now as a one we can add like 1000 so now nothing can happen in the view because we don't have anything but we're gonna go and add this parameter inside the calculation so let's go back to our calculation my first calculation right click on it and then go and edit and now what we're gonna do instead of having 1000 we're gonna get the value from the parameter so we make like a dynamic calculated field so the user is gonna go and control this value so let's go and remove the 1000s and we're gonna start writing the name of the parameter like any other field so it's gonna be choose and we get it over here so click on that and with that we have added our parameter inside the calculation and as you can see parameters in tableau has the color of purple so that's it for the last component and with that we have covered all different components that is possible to be used inside calculations so now let's go and try the output i'm gonna go and hit ok and then i'm gonna remove this one it's red so let's get the products to the rows so next we're gonna go and get our new calculated field this time it's gonna be a dimension because the output of the calculated field gonna be a string value so let's check the results and as you can see over here we have two products with the value high the rest is gonna be null so now let's go and get the sales in order to understand why those values are high and that's because of our calculation so anything above 1000 we can get the value high anything below it's gonna be null and with the parameter the users are controlling the calculation so if i go over here and say okay instead of 1000 let's have 500 so with that we have included as well the other products so all the products now has the high value in the calculated field so with that we have generated new information to our visualizations. Alright guys, so now let's quickly summarize the components of the calculations. In this example, first we can see the comment. So this comment is going to help us to document the purpose of the calculation and it will not be executed. It's going to be as well in the gray color. The next component we have the field. So any field inside our data source, whether it's its dimension or measure, we can add it to our calculation. Like this one, we have the sales and they have the orange color. The next component we have the functions. They are the built-in operators in order to manipulate our data. And they have the blue color the next components we have the operators in this example we have two operators the plus the arithmetic operator and as well the comparison operator it is the higher than and they're gonna have the black color the next component is gonna be as well with the black color we have the letter expressions those are static values that we can insert inside our calculations it could be a number like here the 10 or it could be string like here the high and here don't forget to add the double or single quotations marks in order for tableau to understand this is a value not a field or a parameter or a function or anything else and we can add as well date values all right moving on to the next component we have the logical expressions we have if then and they can help us in order to evaluate conditions inside tableau and then to decide whether it's true or false and the last component that we have inside the calculations we have the parameters they are the dynamic fields that we can use inside calculations all right so that's all about the components of calculations all right so with that we have learned the main the basic components of the tableau calculations and next we're gonna learn how to nest one calculation into another and if you like my content and you want to support the channel then i really appreciate it if you support like and comment this really gonna help the youtube algorithm thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye